Ladies and gentlemen, one thing, you know, no matter how much America talks about other people with money, there is nobody worse with money than America. You only demonstrated it for centuries now. But y'all, y'all suck at money. You really do. So now it's coming out that the debt goes up by a trillion dollars every 100 days. We couldn't blow that kind of money even if we came back in 10 lifetimes. Seriously, y'all. We couldn't do it. These folks could. They could do it easily. So the U.S. national debt is rising by $1 trillion dollars every 100 days. So they said right now the national debt is at $34.4 trillion as of Wednesday. Mm -mm -mm. The debt load of the U.S. is growing at a quicker clip in recent months, increasing about $1 trillion nearly every 100 days. The national debt permanently crossed over to $34 trillion on January 4th after briefly crossing the mark on December 29th. According to data from the U.S. Department of Treasury, it reached $33 trillion as of September 15th, 2023, and $32 trillion on June 15th, 2023. Hitting this accelerated pace before that, the trillion dollar move higher from $31 trillion. It took about eight months for it to move. U.S. debt, which amount of money the federal government borrows to cover operating expenses, now stands at nearly $34.4 trillion as of Wednesday. Bank of America investment strategist Michael Hartnett believes the 100-day pattern will remain intact with a move from $34 trillion to $35 trillion. Mm -mm -mm. So let's go on. Little wonder, debt debasement, trades closing at an all-time high, gold at 2,077 an ounce, Bitcoin at 67,734. Spot gold is currently hovering around $2,084 an ounce, while Bitcoin was recently around 61443 the cryptocurrency in February closed out at its best month since 2020, briefly trading above $64,000 on Wednesday before pulling back. Inflows into crypto funds are on course for a blowout year. All right, so Moody's Investment Office lower its ratings uh, on the U.S. government to negative from stable in November due to the rising risk of the country's fiscal strength. In the context of higher interest rates without effective fiscal policy measures to reduce government spending or increase revenues, Moody's expects that the U.S. fiscal deficit will remain very large, significantly weak debt affordability. Well, yeah, you know, look, the U.S. has been in a bad debt for a long time. You know, if China did call in their money that the U.S. has taken all this time, this place would collapse overnight. It would. But this is the kind of debt people with high IQs have gotten a country in. You know, isn't it amazing how everybody got a high IQ? You would think that 
Everybody in charge of the money with high IQs would have prevented this from happening. But they didn't. But, you know, and it also goes to show you America will sit and tell us they are broke and they don't have the money when it comes down to our reparations. But in order for you to have $34.4 trillion in debt, you don't care about money that you spend. Okay, you really seriously don't care at all. You would never have that kind of debt if you did care. You don't care. You don't care how reckless you are with money and what you invested in and what you've thrown it away in what wasteful spending is going on. These folks don't care at the end of the day. They just don't want us to have it. So y'all tell me what you think about all this debt the U.S. is in. And every 100 days, they are adding another trillion dollars to the debt, the national debt. Mm -mm -mm. Only in America. Wonder what it will be after they get finished uh, continuing to give a streamline of money to all of these migrants in the country. Because, you know, they're saying by the time the election come, there should have been about 8 million in the country. So that being the case, I'm sure that's going to go up in leaps and bounds. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.